still unlock this guy. Ready? Yesterday, it was supposed to rain all day. It rained on and off. We probably could have shelled corn, but instead what we did was get the bad tire changed off. I was managed to find, a friend of mine had uh, another tire, the same size, but it was older, but it doesn't have sidewall damage. Doesn't have a whole lot of tread. I'll show it to you. Don't have a whole lot of tread, but right now, that's all the tire I could find. Got the tire put on. Had a company come out and do it. Ended up putting the tube inside this one since it's older. And this is just to just to get by until I can find some some new tires. I've called around to several different places. Places we bought tires in the past. Nobody has a 30. 30.5 by 32 that I can stick to be speaking. I have found some online Facebook marketplace. They're all sold. They're either sold or 500 miles away from here. But if we can't find them, we might have to make a 500 mile trip to get tires. Like, I'll give you a good example of how old the tire I put on is. It's a 23 degree Firestone. That's a long bar, short bar. I've never seen a 23 degree fire style long bar, short bar. Didn't know they made them. Frankly, they made them in 1990. That's how old the tire is. It's a 30 year old tire. 31 years old. Yeah. It's, it's been around the block. And the guy that put my tire on, he's looking for any kind of used tires for me, too. And, the, and he's trying to find me new tires. He was saying that he was having trouble getting new tires also. I, I don't know if any of y'all are running into this stuff right now, but it's a little ridiculous how we just can't get stuff that we need. A little ridiculous. Oh, and if you notice, I just had a little stopped up today. I got the daycare book to get from my oldest son. So I've been taking a couple of Alcus Seltzers. Said it's middle life crisis yet, yet or not. All right, I'm back in here. The tire seems to be holding on for the most part, anyways. We'll figure something out. Hey, if any hell out there have a set of uh, 30.5 or 32s and they need to get rid of them, you know, drop a comment, hit us up. I'm in the market for some. Yeah, so we messed, got the tire on here yesterday, and then we fixed the grain cart auger to where it kind of sandwiched a little bit. And so we cut it out, and looks like the inner liner, so that auger's got an exterior liner and an inner liner, and looks like the inner liner had probably been sandwiched for several years. And the outer auger only gave way recently. So we got it cut out. And once we cut the, the crinkle out, it it popped back it popped back out to its normal height. We measured it and checked it. it everything looks fine. And how we fixed it was we have a old uh, a older auger, transport auger. 
it's, it's dad's, I guess it's dad's second transport auger. We've kept it for parts, and so we cut a section out of it and passed it into the auger. And so what we're doing right now is I'm gonna put one up in the grain cart and Jesse's gonna go try it out. We're just doing one dump because if it don't work, it's easier to unload one. If it does work, that's great. But if it don't, we'll just park it and keep running like we're running. And so uh, I'll give you an idea how long the field is. So we're at the back end, way up here. That's, there's a, that's, a, that's a quarter of a mile to the field. You see the grain bins right here? That's the grain bins up at my house which is a mile from here, or a mile and a quarter. Pretty good piece up there. I have had to walk from the back of this field before due to a front tire falling off the 4755 when I was spraying. Wheel burn decided to take a dump and uh, it dumped me in the ground. But, you know, that's been several years. So we're gonna get back at it. have me a snack and I'm gonna wait till everybody gets back so dad will be able to just come park one truck jump in another one Jesse will have to load the semi with the grain cart and as uh, soon as somebody gets back I'll uh, get to dumping this combine and get back in the field I could jump in the uh, red shipping takeout but somebody have to be here to start cutting again to fill up the white Chevy when it gets back so like I said I'm just gonna chill out for a little bit you know have a snack maybe a drink I'll be waiting when they get back. As y'all saw there, Jess is getting back in the semi. Dogs are leaving in the red Chevy. I'm building a white one up. Our local granary let us know that they can hold uh, one more mini semi and one more dump truck load for the day. And they got to shuffle some more grain around. So that's what we're going to send them. I'm going to keep cutting. And as soon as I get everything cut full again i'll start driving trucks up to the bend we'll see if we can get this field finished today hey guys me and dylan here just got back to town from the granary they are full officially full i think 
So uh, we are going to spend the rest of the afternoon into the early night running corn. Back and forth to the grain bin in the dump truck here to put in the bin. Uh, we got one bin left over here we can fill up. So we are going to start doing, it, doing that the rest of the night. Don't know how late we're going to run, but me and Dylan are going to run. So you guys can drive with us for a little while. See if we can get some stuff done tonight. May not run that late, uh, but we'll run for a little while. Getting a pretty good pile in there. So what do your kids have on to do while you unload corn? Mine get bored. So we'll play a little stick ball. Dylan likes this game. Ready? Now the trick with stick ball is you gotta put a little corn in your bottle. Give it some weight. Well, as you can tell from the background, the sun's getting low, getting late. Uh, we are gonna keep running for a little while longer. Out to filling up the white dump truck now with the grain cart. But uh, we're gonna let you guys go. Uh, we'll keep the camera with if something goes on. I hope it don't. We'll turn the camera back on. So just uh, appreciate you guys following us. Remember, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, share the content. That helps us out a lot. We're growing pretty good right now. We really do appreciate it. It means a lot to us. So keep it up, guys. Uh, got a question or something, throw a comment down there too. That helps us out. Anyway, like always, appreciate you following us. Appreciate you joining along today. Uh, God bless and come back as this.